It was the tale of two finishes on Monday's Daytona 500. Yeah, while Denny Hamlin was crowned the winner, many were wondering if Ryan Newman would even make it off of the track alive. The fiery crash happened in the final turn of the final lap. Our Steve King spoke to people in the racing world about this wild finish. But first, we go to Chris Lee live in studio. Chris, you have breaking new details about what's unfolded. That's right, Brandon Talitha. Roush Fenway Racing just released a statement saying that Ryan Newman is awake and he's talking with family and doctors. We do know that he is in serious condition with non life threatening injuries. That is great news considering this horrible crash. In the Daytona 500 yesterday, Newman in car six right here coming out of turn four. High Point native Ryan Blaney tries to pass. Newman then loses control of his car. Here's where the crash happened. He then slid across his roof after that. And let's take a look at it in slow motion. Newman loses control, hits the driver's side on the wall, flips onto his roof, and oncoming Corey LaJoy hits Newman on the driver's side. He flips over again and hit lands back on the driver's side where he begins to slide. Now the winner of the race, Denny Hamlin, couldn't quite celebrate the win afterwards, and he says that he had an eerie feeling before the race even started. I was saying actually at lunch today, I'm like, I just, I don't feel good about today. Just not because of my car or the speed, just, you know, we have, we've managed to get to the finish of these races for a lot of years in a row. And it's like, how have we just kept avoiding the inevitable, which is the wrecks? Again, the good news coming out of all of this. Ryan Newman is awake and he is talking to family and doctors. Today is actually the 19th anniversary of Dale Earnhardt Sr. losing his life after a crash on the last lap of the Daytona 500. And thankfully, that was not the outcome of last night's race. Our Steve King spoke to a local race car driver who says that crashes like this can happen at any time. Steve. Chris, modified series race car driver Randy Butner has been racing here in our area for 33 years. He says when he saw the crash last night, he feared the worst. Now, the Bowman Gray racer says his thoughts and prayers are with Ryan Newman and his family right now, but also he thinks NASCAR is going to analyze the crash and possibly look to implement new safety features or rule changes. Bunner says while he understands some people do watch racing for the crashes, he does not think anyone ever wants to see a driver get hurt. For Butner, he says he's still looking forward to Bowman Gray Racing starting back up in a couple months, and he's not going to let the crash last night change anything for him moving forward. Yeah, as a race car driver, we all know what could happen anytime we get into a race car, and no one's twisting our arm making us get into it. So it's, it's just something you have to accept if you're going to drive a race car. Um, you know, that you had uh, all these cars going for the biggest win of the season, the Daytona 500 on the last lap. Uh, nobody's going to give an inch, and, and a lot of time things like this happen. You have a crash. Now, right now I'm here at the Winston Cup Museum. The founder of the museum has been a racing fan his whole life, and he's known many drivers over the years. We are going to hear from the founder of the museum coming up at 5 on WXII 12 News. But for now, reporting live in Winston-Salem, Steve King, WXII 12 News.